Welcome to Windows and Computer Channel, and this is to answer a question that I've had from time to time, but somebody came up with a um, message and told me, you know what, I've been running Windows 10 without activation for six months, still using it, so you don't have to buy it. What's the problem? I see that there's a few things, but um, I don't see why um, you know I should buy it if I, it works. And here's the thing about what's different on Windows 10 with activation. So for, of course, the last, um, you know, all the versions of Windows 10, you had to activate, you had a product key, you had to do something. When it came to Windows 7, Windows 7 was nagging you by restarting randomly or at every hour or, you know, it's always was restarting to tell you, well, no, you gotta, you gotta activate, you know, and, um, it was something that was always like that. Now, on Windows 10, what happens is that they, for the first time, first of all, they give you a link where you can download Windows 10. So you can go to Microsoft's webpage, and using the media creation tool, you can download a free copy of Windows 10. Now, free isn't free, and here's the thing. When you install it, it will ask you for a product key, but you can skip the product key it's still going to install and it's still going to work. And the reason why that happens is because some people have what we call a digital license. It is actually checking the system, the hardware, and knows that it's already been activated before. And that's why skipping the product key is there. But what if you didn't pay for it, you have no product key and you never installed it on your PC? What's going to happen? Well, once you install Windows 10 on that PC, one of the first things that you will actually have as information is that Windows 10 is not activated. For the first month, that doesn't have much of an impact because for the first 30 days, it, they kind of let you do pretty much anything you want. But if you go through and pass that 30 days, then it's going to lock down a little you won't be able to personalize your windows. So for example, if you want to have your favorite, um, you know, wallpaper on the screen, stuff like that, the personalization tab, when you go to the settings and go to personalization, this personalization tab will be grayed out. You won't be able to do anything in there. Uh, so these are some of the things that's going to happen if you don't activate. It's going to tell you regularly, you're not activated, you're not activated. It will put what we call a watermark on the bottom right of your screen. You will see, you will see Windows 10 is not activated and blah, blah, blah. But will it stop working? No, it won't. Um, it still continues to work. If you use it like that, it still works. It still updates also. And, uh, but... Be warned that using Windows 10 like that is a breach of the user agreement, which means you shouldn't be using it like that. You're actually kind of illegal if you want. But that is the only thing that's going to really happen is watermark. You'll be nagged at activation regularly, and you won't be able to use a personalization tab. But for the rest, pretty much everything is still going to work. So uh, that's very unique to Windows 10. It's something that, you know, didn't happen before. So uh, that is one thing. And if you are on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, remember that you can still upgrade for free to Windows 10. That still works. So you don't have to, you know, go through all that uh, trouble. You can actually use your Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 product key. And uh, for the most part, for most people, it activates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.